Did you find the bosses in Dark Souls 3 to be too easy? Do you wish you could play Devil May Cry as a dumbass teenager but without playing the remake? Do you just hate yourself? If you answer yes to any of those questions, then go get East Origin for the PS4 and play it on hard mode. When you start playing, the first thing you're gonna probably think is that this game is not too hard. It's just like Super Mario, you just have to not get hit. And okay, you might have died there, but if you were actually paying attention, it's, it's not actually difficult. And then you'll find the first boss. You'll die a few times, but you will eventually figure out how to dodge it. And just when you think you're doing great... Oh, and if you're wondering why the boss health bar is at the top left instead of somewhere in the middle, <laughs> don't worry about it, it will change pretty soon. If you play on hard difficulty, the first and second boss might be somewhat challenging, but all the ones after that, you're gonna hate every single one of them. Wait. Why, why am I doing no damage? How do I kill this thing? Oh, okay, okay. I have to do that and and now I can kill it, right? This is getting a little harder, but I actually think I can- Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kid- For real though, the bosses are easily the best part about this game. And if you're struggling with any of them, or just struggle in general, do keep watching. Because I'm going to show you some stuff that I figured through trial and error. The first thing you need to do is go to settings and make sure that all of these options are turned on. Also, don't forget to bring out the volume of the music, it's really fucking good. When you actually start the game, you'll have to choose between two characters, Unica and Hugo. For your first playthrough, I would recommend Unica, even though she's dumb as a rock. But hey, at the end of the day, it's up to you. No matter which one you choose, the progress will be pretty similar, but they do have different abilities, so that's nice. And as for the difficulty, do play it on normal, if you just want to play through the game casually. If you select hard, trust me, you're gonna face the serious fucking challenge, and that is IF you find all the secrets, and if you spend some time grinding. That's another thing about this game, by the way. The way defenses work, sometimes leveling up only once or twice, makes a lot of difference. So if you're seeing that a boss is absolutely decimating you, don't hesitate to go back and see if you've missed anything and level up a couple times. You don't really get anything when you level up in this game, so you kinda have to buy the abilities for yourself. If you have no idea where to start, I've left some opinions on the screen right now, so go ahead and pause it. Overall, beating this game on hard was really satisfying, and at the time I was one of the very few who had done it. But even after that, I only have like one fourth of all the achievements, so yeah, this, this game is fucking crazy. Wait, what? Nightmare? There's another difficulty in this game? 